So in this video, we're going to be looking at how we create sheets, our own sheets. Uh, so displayed on the screen, now we can see the standard A3 metric uh, sheet that comes as a standard template with Revit. Um, so I don't particularly like these sheets because uh, the stuff down I don't really use. I don't really want the Autodesk uh, logo, and I don't really use some of these uh, boxes down here. So what I want to do is create my own uh, sheet. So here's what I've done previously, so you can see what it is we're going to be doing. Uh, so I'm going to go through how we uh, create a, a sheet that looks like this. So to do this, um, we need to hover over File in the top left-hand corner, and on New, uh, we're just going to go down into Title Block. Uh, so it's a new title block that we want to create. So once I've got Title Block open, uh, I double-click on A3 Metric, or just click on it once and click Open, and it brings up a brand new template um, for me to use. So this is the edge of my paper around the outside here. Uh, so to do this, uh, I want to draw some lines around the outside first. So I'm going to click on line and I'm going to use the pick lines tool and I'm going to have an offset of five millimeters because I want my line to be sitting in five millimeters from the edge. Uh, you can see the blue dotted line. I want to make sure the blue dotted lines on the inside when I hover over the outside of the page, click on there, same all the way around and I end up with my lines around the outside. I need to tidy up these corners. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to use the Trim and Extend uh, tool. So in, in the Modify section, just click on the Trim and Extend tool and then go around and clean up those corners. Like so once I've done that, Escape key twice to stop me from doing that. Uh, I now need to go in and start drawing up my box down the bottom here. So um, you can make this any size you like, really. Um, I've got my preferred sizes but you can do whatever you want to do with this really uh, so uh, I'm going to do mine um, a line across the top which is going to be uh, 55 mil from this edge here so up the top here I can just move it along until I get to 55 and that's going to come across to there so that's my top line so that's carved up a little bit inside there I want to put another two boxes uh, so I'm going to go back to create again and uh, back into line and I'm going to use the rectangle tool. Uh, so inside here, I'm going to create some rectangles. I'm just going to place, I'm not too worried about the dimensions just yet, although um, I do want this one to be 140 mil, but I'm not worried too much about the size of it. And then what I do, once I've in there, I'm now going to go around it and make sure that I've got all the lines I want them to be. So again, five mil uh, from the edge. So here it's currently 5.491 mil. Just going to click on there and click on uh, five. Same with this one here. Click on there, click on five. Uh, click that one down, this one here. Click that on five. I think it's five mil. And then this line here, this wants to be 140. 140. So you don't have to use these measurements. You can use any measurement you like, really. Um, but these ones tend to work for what I want to do. So once I've got that done, I'm going to create another um, rectangle. So in there, get my rectangle box up. This one's a bit easier because it will snap to uh, an existing grid. Uh, so I can just drag this across here so it does, this one does get a bit quicker. And again, this line here, I want this to be five millimeters from the edge. So I think it's nice and the same. Uh, the top and the bottom line already lined up with the existing box. I don't need to worry about those. Then this line on the edge here, uh, that needs to be five mil as well. That's it. And from there, that's it. All looking good. So. Yeah, that's right. So this one here is 255, which is what I want it to be across to there. So once I've done that, I now want to start carving up this box a bit more so I can get some uh, more details in this. I'm going to split this into three. So again, back into create, back into line. And I want this line to be 85 millimeters for this particular one. So click down to there, put that one there. Same with this one here. Now I'm going to split this into two again. Uh, so 85 mil again from the edge. So I've now got three boxes 85 mil uh, in length. Once I've done that, I now want to start uh, carving up these boxes here a bit more. So this one here, I'm going to hover over until I get to the midpoint. So you can see there it goes to midpoint, then just click across. So I've now split that into two, so they're 22 and a half millimeters each. Uh, on the right hand side of my one, I'm going to come in 15 mil from the top, for the top one. And then I'm going to go in 10 mil segments after that. So then there'll be two more lines, 10 mil apart across, like so. Uh, I now want to carve this area here up a little bit more. Uh, so I'm actually going to come across uh, here uh, 
and I'm actually going to do this one here at 40 mil. Uh, so rather than getting the midpoint, I'm actually going to come across 40 mil. So it's got 40 one side and 45 the other. Uh, and, and then down the bottom here, I'm actually going to split this one. So it's 20 and then 22.5. So I've got the 20 there. So you can see I've got 20 and 25 on that side there. So that's how uh, I want that to um, sort of position itself. And again, where is that? So now I've got that done. Um, it's now, now starting to look a bit more like a sheet. Uh, I now want to start infilling stuff. So I can put the logo in first of all. So that's going to go into this middle rectangle in there. Uh, so to do that, just go into insert. And then you need to have uh, created a logo or got a, a file of some sort um, prepared ready for this like I've done. So I'm going to import my image. So when I'm up into insert tab, go to import image. Um, and in my downloads, I've already got um, some different logos that I can use. Uh, I'm going to choose this one and just place it to start off with. And you can then start altering the size of it and maneuvering it around on your sheet. Like so. So that's then my logo inside there. Um, and now I want to start labeling things uh, and, and giving them their, their title boxes. So again, back into create, and I've got two types of text that I can use. Uh, the text, this one here that I'm hovering over, just text, is uh, just a text box, and you can type in uh, titles for that. And the label itself uh, is the the bit that can change and move uh, and title itself, uh, and you can go in there and edit that as well once you've got the, the sheet together. So I'm going to start off with the text box. And so this one here, I'm going to title this one um, Project. And then I'm going to hit Close. When I look at this, you can see that actually it's way too big. The text is far too large. Um, so I need to uh, make this a lot smaller. Uh, so what was it clicked in the properties box on the, hit on the side here? I've got text at 8mm. And the only choices I've got in there are 8mm and 12mm. I want this to be a lot smaller. Um, so with this one selected, I'm going to go into Edit Type, click on Edit Type, and I'm going to duplicate because I don't want to change the 8mm text. I want to add to it. I'm going to call this one 2mm, which is quite a good size for me for my one. So I've now got a new uh, family of 2mm. I need to go into the text size and change that from 8 and put that down to 2, and then click OK. And now you can see I've now got um, this... Uh, Text here is now down at two millimeters. I can start adjusting things around to place it where I want it to be placed. Uh, so once I've got that one done, uh, the one below, I might want to call this one a sheet maybe. So again, go into uh, create, go into text. Um, I want to choose this time the two mil again, because now I've got that where I duplicated it, it's now sitting in there. And I'm going to bring this one out and I'm going to call this one uh, sheet. And close and again I can move that about if I want to get it so it sits where I want it to sit so I can carry on doing all those um, again you can see on uh, this one here I've got these these names here uh, and this is how I've split my one up um, so again you can pause the video if you want and just take a note of uh, how I've done mine but again you can do yours exactly how you want to do them um, back into this one, and uh, so I've got the titles. Now I need to actually put the, the 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 label in there. So back into create, and this time rather than text, I'm going to use label. When I click on label, uh, so for this one here, uh, I'm going to click on that space where I want it to go, and I've now got all these different types of uh, uh, labels that I can actually put into there. Uh, so this one here is going to be. Um, remember what I was doing now. Uh, oh, it's the project name, wasn't it? Yeah, so if I go down to uh, project, there we are, there's a project name there. I can either double click on that or I can click on it once and use the green uh, arrow to actually transfer it from there into here uh, and then click OK. And again, you can see it's, it's quite large. Um, it probably is too big for what I want it to be. Um, I could drag that out, but if I've got a long project name, it's going to fill up that box quite quickly. It won't fit. So uh, with the project name, um, Highlighted, I can go into my tag label. And again, I've only got 8 and 12 millimeters in there. So with it highlighted, go into edit type. Again, I'm going to duplicate once more. And I'm going to call this one 4 millimeters because that seems to be a size that works quite well for me. Uh, change my text size there. Change that into 4 millimeters as well. 
and click OK. And now it's a bit smaller uh, when I'm in there. But again, I've now got this four mil and you can add any size you want. You can make it whatever size you want it to be into there. And I've now got this project name. So now once I'm in uh, this one here, for instance, you can see the project name. When I click into project name, I can now type what project I want it to be and that will change like you've done before on, on previous uh, sheets. Yep. And then it's just a case of repeating that process throughout the whole of this. You don't need to see me doing that because uh, I've done it once and you can just repeat that process. So you've got these uh, different um, texts. So you've got text for uh, the the title and then you've got these labels where actually the labels, that, the bits that are going to change. Um, the text you can't change. So once you're in to here, uh, I can't change that, that project. Um, I can't change that sheet. Uh, with the labels, I can. That's, that's the bit I can change. So when I'm back into here, you can see the difference between the two. And you'll just carry on uh, getting those done. Uh, once those done, uh, you just um, save the uh, project uh, and uh, away you go. So uh, back into file, lab, file save as, uh, and this one's going to be as a family. Um, so save as, go into save as a, a family. And then you'll call it what you want to call it. I'm going to call this family three now for now. Uh, but you can call it what you want. You can see I've called mine A3 sheet, Chichester Olives and stuff like that in the past. Um, go into there and click save, and you've now got that um, family saved. When you want to uh, upload a new sheet, so if I go into uh, this, this drawing here, go into view, go into sheets, go into load, and you can now see I've got this family three. I can click that into there, open up family three, and that's now my unfinished one. But you can see how that process has now worked. Uh, and that's how you create your own sheets uh, with your own logos and your own designs.